Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. This is Nerdedness. I'm Shade. How are we doing? Okay, so tonight we're cracking on with some more Horizon Zero Dawn. So let us load in. Now, at the end of last session, we had done the proving. Um, Ross had said goodbye. But we were like, no, dude, we're going to track you down. You follow the law too much. I'm still really intrigued to know what his backstory is. I'm hoping we get to learn a bit more. Um, but in, after the proving, we were attacked by a bunch of people and the Kaja tribe that was visiting, I think therefore vanished. A whole bunch of our tribe, the Nora, have been wiped out. We're now part of the tribe officially. We're now been ordained a seeker by the matriarchs. To be honest, they can jam that up their ass because the tribe is still dicks and some of the matriarchs, especially one of them, is still a complete dick. We've learned that Aloy was kind of spawned in the, the All Mother, which is kind of like these technological caverns or, or, or caves or, or doors or areas within the air within the mountain that uh, surrounds the main well is in the in the in the center of the the main Nora village there and so that's just all technology um we've learned that the the traitors or the the uh cultists or whoever it was that attacked um were trying to specifically take out Aloy for I think two reasons. Firstly, she had a focus, like they, like a couple of them seem to have, those little technological doodads that do the scanning and give the infos and stuff. Um, but also it recognised her as looking a lot like another woman. I can't help but, but, but maybe foreshadow that other woman may have been either Aloy's real mother or a clone or something. And the all-mother that the Nora um, worship may have been an actual woman who somehow championed or orchestrated or caused the downfall of the machines because um, the machines were taking over. We don't know. So many questions. We've busted outside of the Embrace. This is called the Embrace, this first valley. This is where the Nora pretty much live their entire lives. They rarely go outside. And we have branched outside. We've picked up a couple of side quests. And here we are story-wise. <laughs> Vito, so Aloy might be a clone. Well, I don't know if she is a clone, I just suspect something that's going on like that because it's literally a thousand years ago when, uh, well, this is a thousand years into the future um, that this uh, game is set compared to our timeline. So somewhere in between there, machines and AI grew to be very big in the world. And then there's been some kind of apocalyptic event or series of events we're still learning about. So uh, I don't know. I'd, it's going to be interesting. We'll have to see. Vito, you're speculating? Yeah, uh, so am I. I reckon, she, uh, I reckon she could be a clone, or was she some kind of uh, frozen embryo that then got uh, unfrozen and then spawned in the caverns and the matriarchs found her because that's where their holy caverns are and they gave them to Rost, gave Aloy to Rost to raise. So, not sure. But why did Rost become an outcast? Did he become an outcast purely to raise Aloy because they couldn't be accepted inside the thing? And then I got really ranty because... Uh, the Nora seem to be quite religious for this all-mother religion of theirs, and Aloy apparently may have been a spawn or a giving uh, or, or a daughter directly of the all-mother. And, of course, because that makes followers of religions uncomfortable when there is some kind of uh, chosen one or majestic being. So, of course, she got shunned. Not welcomed as a grace or a, or a boon, but shunned as a curse because she is motherless. Fucking religions, man. All right, let's go. It brights up for conspiracy theory. So am I. Um, okay, let's go to the main view. I've rambled enough to try and recap as much as we can. I had to also remind myself a little bit because I have been playing this a lot in between streams over the weekend for I have uncovered the entire map. I have collected nearly all the collectibles except for the ones that either require a, press, a, a quest progression or that trigger some kind of quest dialogue. Um, in getting too close to them. So if we go to our notebook, collectibles, looking very juicy. Um, I have also done most of the hunter trials. I've cleared all the bandit camps because there's a lot of grindy stuff to do. Um, and we are now quite leveled up. So Aloy is level 39, I think. Yeah, 39 uh, out of a maximum 60 with a DLC. Our gear is good. We got lots of high stakes purple gear with lots of mods and stuff. Uh, we are sorted. We are ready to go. I was very busy. I played this a lot, but it also demonstrates how much in this game there's a lot of exploring and grindy stuff to do. It's fun exploring grindy stuff though, so I don't mind it, but I've tried to speed up our playthrough so you're not just watching me 
just run around hunting, climbing, and collecting things because I do think that would be boring to watch. But the story stuff, I'm ready to go for story stuff because I haven't seen any of it. Side quest, I haven't talked to anyone. Poor Aloy. I've made Aloy continue to be a loner for a little while. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> Magnanimous side questioning. <laughs> Or side quest, and that's the biggest word you'll use uh, before the Aperol, the alcohol kicks in. Excellent. Um, okay, so we had a side quest picked up, um, which was... Uh, was it a main quest, actually? The War Chief's Trial. Sona, the War Chief of the Norists, went missing after an ambush, killed dozens of braves. Val wants ally, uh, sorry, Aloy to find her. And I just realised Val is the... Well, and Vala was his sister who was on the Proving. They've got very similar names. Anyway, activate that quest. Let's go and chase down what happened to the War Chief. Now, we can... We can fast travel, but instead, let us go and capture a mount. So we can ride around on our noble steed. And let's see if I've still got the skills I was developing over the weekend to do things. <laughs> Um, also, we're currently set up for stealth, by the way. So I bought a cool stealth improvement outfit and I've buffed it with stealth mods. So stealth is our main focus at the moment. Once we eventually unlock the fancy armor, which comes later in the story, maybe we'll do more hand-to-hand -hand combat. But for now, stealthy is our approach. And then just ignoring things we don't want to deal with is also our approach. All right. You found horsey. Let's go. Let's find what happened to the war chief. Apologies for the long intro. Now the Karja are the tribe sort of found further north of here. I think they were the visitors. What is going on here? Oh, we got bandits fighting watchers. All right. Let's see how much. Let's just let them fight each other, I guess. <laughs> oh, stuck on the bridge. I haven't gone brilliant at steering these mounts. I think it's because they try to auto-steer a bit along the roads. So maybe I'm pushing the wrong buttons. Such destruction. What are you talking about? Look out. What are you talking about, Aloy? Oh, we've made a wrong turn already. I got distracted by all the events and my own talking. Classic shade. All right. Ooh, mount can't enter. Let's find out what's going on. Let's find... About the war chief. Maybe the war chief left something behind. Some clue as to where she went. Maybe. Let's turn down the audio for a moment. Let's give that a go. And make sure we can hear the dialogue. That music got really loud. Scanning time. Lots of machines. All controlled by the killer. Ooh. They sent a stampede of them down the slope. Oh, okay. So yeah, this other tribe or these other mysterious dudes who attacked us all seem to have control over the machines. Now we've gained a unit that Aloy has basically duct taped to a to a spear and Bluetooth synchronized with their focus. So now we can override machines too, but not to the same extent they can. Lenora managed to take down a corruptor, but not before the killers used it to send the other machines against them. All right, these corrupted machines, that's what we had to fight in the camp. And that's where we stole the uh, control device from. Talk to a survivor. Oh, hang on. Is there a survivor coming in? Watch out behind you, my dude. There's someone out there, but... Ray, oh. let us speak. Okay, who are you? What's going on? The dead and wounded all cleared away. Are there no more braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her, like... Oh, so she's still alive, then? Varl told me that the War Chief tracked the killers. Did she find them? We followed their trail, but again and again they sent corrupted machines to attack us. My wounds started to slow me down, so the War Chief sent me back to let others know she hasn't given up the fight. Good. All right. So, you were here when the war party was ambushed? I was. I thought after the proving there could be no darker day, but I was wrong. The war chief was delayed gathering the rear guard. Eager for revenge, the braves in the lead fell into the trap. Dozens lost in minutes. If Sona hadn't arrived and rallied us, no one would have survived. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? All I can tell you is where we parted. 
Near the metal tower, southeast of the ruins at Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with a lone boulder. I'll head for the embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May all mother lend you strength. You'll need it. Going alone. Yes, all mother and stuff. Very good. Maybe Aloy is the old mother. All right, go to Sono's last location. That's where we're going, which is over here. Okay. Um, going to speed this up a little bit by jumping on the horsey. And let's fast travel nearby because not only have I unlocked some of the campfires, but I've also gained the golden fast travel food pack, which means you don't need to consume and build or build and consume travel packs all the time. That there is a tall neck. Uh, you climb on top of those to reveal some of the map and get a free skill point. So I've unlocked a bunch of those. There's usually some kind of jump puzzle involved to figure out how to get on top of them, but not as annoying as I thought they were going to be, to be honest. And they just walk around in circles, endlessly scanning and memorizing the area. Whoop, up on that cliff. This must be the rise Sona's runner told me about. Can we, uh, can we climb up there with a the mount? Yes. That silly thing, stop trying to step on the rocks. The war chief, that old bow, has seen a lot of action. Hey, that's, can we pick up said bow? No one would have Sona's taken losses. Oh, maybe they got hunted down. All this food stuff still hanging here too. Look at this. There's a, a rabbit. Kill. Freshly skinned. Yep. That was not the sign of someone planning to leave. Sona and her braves can't be far. Oh, that's what you're that's what you're deducing from that, okay. And uh, dressings from wounds. The runner wasn't the only one who got hurt. Might be a blood trail like arrow shards. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. And those tall necks make lots of thundery walks when, uh, noises when they walk around, which can be alarming when there's lots of scary things. But I feel less scared of things now, having been a higher level and learned to just run away from stuff when needed. Oh. Looks like someone and her braves headed for that ridge. All right, we'll summon the mount again later, but for now we travel on foot, it would seem. Okay. Some of the landscape looks phenomenal in this game too. I, I, I find that nighttime comes around so quickly. They should do shorter nights and longer days so we can appreciate the scenery a bit more. Oh, they corrupted watchers up there corruption zone let's take him out one down dodge duck dip dive and dodge you're not oh. gonna be the one to stop. hit the button too fast <laughs> there we go i got too cocky already Oh yes, corrupted stuff is annoying because it has a dot effect, a damage over time effect that ends up landing on Aloy and causing pain. You need to be careful of that. Because just being near them doing silent kills, you can still end up with it on you. Ooh, okay, we've got these uh, bellow back things down there. They're annoying to fight. They seem to be really tough with not many weak points. Oh, you silly. I still occasionally struggle with the way that some of the movement is automated and some of it is not. And if you push a jump button when it's meant to be automated, you can fail. <laughs> if you don't jump when you're meant to jump, you can also fail. Maybe Sona took it out. She could be close. Sawtooth. We fought one of those. That was Rost's final challenge and lesson was to take out a sawtooth. Yoink. Take that. Oh, beastie. Careful, Aloy. Something's coming. Oh, 
someone else shot him. Who that? Who that? Ah, the war chief and her party. Cool. I'm assuming that's who it is anyway. She looks like Val and Varga and Vala. You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. <laughs> uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the proving. I crave vengeance. Do you? Uh, yeah. You have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. Yes, ma'am. Let's get some vengeance and some answers, please. Killers they took... They're just across this ridge, digging the cursed earth. All right, we'll take him out. The sin of the ancients is buried in that soil. Corrupt or demons. I know of them. I killed one at Mother's Watch. A bold claim. I wonder if you'll live up to it. Oh, that's a fox. Question, while doing the grindy stuff, uh, did coming across corrupted information data have any effect on Aloy? Not really. So we found some little notepads and stuff, and they're just kind of like collectible items to read. Um, yeah, nothing that... Like, literally nothing has happened that's interesting for from an Aloy interaction perspective or a story pers perspective because I avoided all conversations and avoided all quests which include people going, please help, we need help. And I'm just like, nope, see ya, and just ran straight past and killed everything and then left again. Um, so yeah, I I'm still very clueless as to what's going on apart from the collectibles that you grab, which really don't do anything to reveal anything interesting, at least not yet anyway. I'm hoping to do a cauldron after we've done some of these quests here because I think that might reveal some more info and we'll be able to control more machines. I'll have to see. So I still don't know who these guys were who have corrupted the machines to fight for them. I sent braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us. But we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then... Boom. Then let us begin. Boom. Wait, let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do. All right, time to do some stealthy stuff. Let's try and make Grizz proud. And let's try not to fail too hard, hey? <laughs> uh, all right, so what have we got? We've got some, we got some bad guys here. Where? Let me tag those just so we can see them. We got some corrupted watches, and we need to find. So we got optional objectives. There's a blaze container. There's a blaze container. Okay. Uh, there's one over there. So we need to sneak. Through. So if we zip line down there, take out that one, make our way through. That sounds legit. Let's see what happens. Um, it's probably not going to go perfectly smooth, but that's okay. In the grass. Silent strike. Hostile spotted. Hostile spotted. Bullshit. Wow, it is. There you go. Ruined the stealth mission straight up then. Fuck. Here's me and my stealth gear being all confident about stealthiness. Stab him in the face. You cannot run from right. You're down. All mother won't help you now. Look out, sir. You need to get. Uh, what do we got? Hang on, give me some more. I have to say, I'm really unhappy with how this has started this mission. I see him. The point where I kind of... They're going to restart that because fuck that. Uh, so Midnight, you were wondering about uh, corrupted information data because um, you assume that corruption would affect the focus in some way. Now, so I think the data that we read, it's corrupted, meaning that it's difficult to read 
or some of it's missing. Not corrupted in the sense that it's going to damage the focus or it's compromised or got malware or anything like that. Um, now, meanwhile, corruption that these machines seem to have is different also to the corruption we can make in arrows from corrupted root plants as well, which is also different. Uh, speaking of, we can cause some trouble, actually. Maybe we should try that. If I equip our other bow... Yes, this one. Corruption arrows, right? We can... Oh, actually... No, when they are corrupted like this, I don't think we can... No, we can't corrupt them. My bad. No, I've got cocky. We can't do that. Alright, let's jump down. Let's have another crack at this. <laughs> Reload number one. I know. I've done, like, pretty much zero reloads for this entire playthrough. Maybe t one or two max. And here we are. Reloading. So if I attack that guy, they're all going to be alerted, even though we're in the grass, all hidden and stealth-like. Should have ziplined it down below. Okay, well, it's fine. Take him out in the correct order then. Turn around, dickhead. Oh. And this one. Oh no, the watcher got us. And I nearly fell off the edge. And that's all it takes, all right. So we weren't properly discovered, just s slightly discovered. And it's all on. Fuck it. All right, bring it on. Uh, what do we want? I'm going to blow this shit up. Glad I've been practicing with harder fights on the weekend. <laughs> now, if they're not corrupted as well, we can actually override them and get machines fighting on our side too, but not today. Not whilst they have the red shit on them. So we got to watch out. This red shit they're dropping on the ground keeps whittling down Aloy's health. Which is super frustrating. Alright, bring it on. Now we'll grab some of the loot, but a lot of the loot, some of the basic loot I will be ignoring because otherwise I'm going to get too full of stuff that we really don't need. So even this. Uh, unless, I don't know if enemies scale with uh, your level, but... There we go, headshot. That's much better. Blue item here. We will that take that. It. Yeah, it was. No, heavy hit. That's better. Stab him. Got him. We do need to collect some more medicines soon as well. Put any more. Ooh, that's interesting. Are they digging up corruptor machines from the ground? Are corruptor machines buried in the ground and that's how they've got a hold of them in the first place? So therefore, what's the history? Why do they even exist from the past? And let's set this shit on fire. Optional objective complete. Let's take out the rest of the bad guys. Let's not roll off the edge, please. That's enough from you. Now, can we tumble down? Yes, we can. Let's climb up. All right. Got you. That's what you think. Right, objective complete in what was one of the most unclean stealth missions we could have done. Considering I've been stealthing all weekend with stealth gear. Terrible. 
corrupted shit is the worst. Also, corrupted machines tend to be more perceptive and more powerful as well. Like they actually seem to deal more damage and be tougher from my experiences so far. This wasn't all the killers. I counted more at the war party massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. Oh, no stop being so proud. your determination, but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val! Val? What are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Yep. Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> oh, come on, father. Sorry. Just a memory Sorry now. now. All right, investigate the dig site. What are we going to find? Got some tracks here. What is this? Commander, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter, safe from stray sparks and lightning, and I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Theron, out. <sighs> a blaze stockpile inside their base. That sounds fun. And we win. Hell yeah. Also interesting how they are using a lot of technology. Meanwhile, Aloy's the only <laughs> non-bad guy using technology. I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. Really? I will return to the matriarchs. Beg them to make an exception. Fuck that, we're a seeker. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, War Chief, break the taboo. Devil's grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send totally. scouts ahead. Yeah. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. I have to admit, I do find this whole, ugh, surprise, surprise, I find this religion stuff draining from the good guy. Oh, we can't climb that. That's not an official climb spot. My bad. Um, it is a bit of a drainer. I'm so glad that Aloy just plays along and doesn't actually believe or say this shit either because I could not continue playing the game if that was the case. All right. Meanwhile, Sparkle Source joins us. Hello, Sparkle Source. Okay, up here is where we need to go. Let's get our horsey. Nope, I've lost the horsey because uh, I have no summon ability. All right, cool. That's fine. Let's just well, let's just fast travel then because we have it unlocked from the campfire. That's where we're going. And here we are. Quick save. Okay. Cinematic. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here. You're not like other Nora. That's yeah. what they tell me. <laughs> oh, here she is. War Chief. Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. Then we should hit those camps first. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, and our enemies in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send braves to each camp to lie in wait. Would you start? They'll help finish. All right. Teamwork. Sounds good. Let's try and actually see if we can succeed at being stealthy for a change. Aim. We break taboo to honor our dead. We break taboo. What is also cool to find is some of these rusted out machines. Like, was this some kind of big gun mounted, uh, mounted gun of some kind or a tank that's now rusted out after a thousand years? Looks awesome. Now, I need to collect some more uh, medicinal plants along the way because I've been chewing through a few he healing potions in that last mission. And our medicine bag is also Stocking drained. Up. All right. 
More corrupted watches, really? It's hella annoying. Normal watches are irritating enough. Corrupted ones are the worst. One of ours. Oh, it was one of yours, don't you worry. So these guys are all connected and alert too, okay. Altists. We fought many of these guys. And you go, some bitch. Right, what have we got floating around? A whole bunch of cultists holed up in here. Amp alarm. Simple technological res Are we meant to destroy that? What does our objective say? Destroy the alarm. I thought I had something over there highlighted, but is it now that we've identified the actual thing that's what we're going to do? That's fine. This will be similar to clearing out the bandit camps that I've already done. Let's get our correct... Oh, hang on. Let's summon this thing over and take it out too. Our right ability selected. Oh, and he's gone away. All right. One of the things I don't like is how uh, the abilities and accessories you have are toggleable by the thing there on the bottom left of the screen. Um, probably a lot better on a console when you're using a controller, but for me, on a keyboard or mouse, I just want hotkeys. Let me hit one hotkey to hit one item. I've got a million buttons. Let me use them. Okay, so can we sneak up? All right, how about we... Some more of this good medicine. Thank you very much. Nope, I didn't. if we take out this watcher oh actually there's a dude standing watch there let's take him out shoot him in the face got him Is this guy hostage nope they're friendly and i said hostage instead of hostile ignore my poor explanations do we have a we don't have bonus objectives it's all good just do the alarm. Okay. Oh, we get a skill point just for completing this mission too. All right. Down you go. Now, some other dickheads here. There's one. Take this one out. We might be able to just go straight to the alarm. See if we can hit him in the face. Stay still. Right, there's that guy. Need to take out that guy. Yep, he looks like he might be... Oh, is he tucked behind there somewhere? There's more of this um, explosive shit here, but I'm not going to blow it up because we don't have an objective for it, and I don't want to draw attention. I do want to get up there, though. Can we jump up here? Nope, we must go around because game says so. Oh, come on. Seriously? Have to take out this guy, although he's squatted down behind. Victory. Now he did. Oh, now everyone is reacting as if something happened, but that was sneaky. Who the hell was talking? The Nora Braves. Okay, that's fine. How do we blow this shit up? By pushing a button. And out we go. Whee! One down, two to go. Roly poly, roly poly. How far away? Oh man, that these are all over the place. Let's fast travel over here. Into the ruins. Ignore the fox. Whatever he says. Alright, get some targets. Come on there. Oh, there's some prisoners there too. Okay. Stop accidentally switching arrows. Oh, not in the face. That one was. There's another guy there, and we can concentrate and go. Oh, spotted. Were we? Not spotted. Wow. Don't let him sneak away. Stealth uh, main missions are way more challenging than uh, like bandit camps and stuff. You get away with a lot more shit there. They don't know where we are. They're just taking pot shots. They know something's happened. I don't know where Aloy actually is. Damn, these guys be sensitive, eh? Oh, has this guy got a... No, that's a friendly. Ha! Oh, I nearly shot you. But the, bra the Nora Braves are here helping, so that's cool. Come here, give me a... No, that's a miss. And go. He 
Easy does it. Oh man, these Nora guys are pretty good. That's the wrong button. I want to hit this button. In the... That's not in the face. That is. Oh, we got a machine here. Excuse me, Mr. Machine. What even is this? Ah, oh, it's a scrapper. I've got a few of those now. He's down. Ah, no you don't. Man, this corruption is so fucking annoying. Lots of stealthy critical kills. Wow, this is way more chaotic than the uh, normal activities. All right, that's fine. Bring it on. Oh, I missed. So then, what the hell is? Oh, we got one of those birds. Come here, dickhead. I know how to deal with you. We tie you down. Come on, critical hit. There we go. More birds. Fucking hell, these guys are. Where's my other health potions? There we go. Oh, missed. Come here. What? I cannot believe how differently uh, this plays out with um, corrupted guys and quest missions. Stay the fuck still. Up in another one. That's gotcha. That was crazy difficult. I knew this was going to happen too. It'd be amazing at all of the open world activities. And as soon as we get on stream doing quest missions, everything goes tits up. That's all right. We use all of our arsenal. The other thing I pointed out in our last session, which I learned too, is that um, uh, the machines and encounters evolve. So the more machines or well, the more of a particular type of machine you kill, uh, they actually evolve and get harder having more and more abilities. Which I knew was going to bite me in the ass, considering that I was taking a lot of them out doing <laughs> doing world events. All right, this bird's going down. Set him on fire. They should be vulnerable to fire because they breathe ice. All right. Yeah. There we go. So take out this guy. Nice and stealthy. Thank you very much. Welcome, Grizz. We're doing a mixture of successful stealth and very unsuccessful stealth. Fear the Nora. Face. There we go. Stay with me. Yeah, old mother. That's who we did this for. What's up here? You're going down. Got it. Scrap her down. Camp cleared. Now, once again, we are low on health. Let us craft some potions, please. Ooh, I burnt through my uh, meats already. Ha. That's all right. We'll do some more hunting at a later point. Did I have an objective to blow up the... Nope, it's already been done. All right, cool. Let's grab, collect some of the uh, little pieces of loot here. And I fell in the water as I try to look at the chat. Really bringing the fail tonight. Come on, Aloy, start moving. Let's -a go. So, 
I've got 7,000 shards or currency with not much left to buy. So part of the reason I'm skipping a lot of the uh, little pieces of white loot is because it's usually resources I don't need and a couple of shards that I really don't need as well. But I will continue to pick up the colored stuff because that's actually worth something. As well as we need to collect more medicine. Oh, smooth. There we go. That's better. You're skipping it because you hate us. Bruh, have you seen the collectibles I have achieved? Come on, man. You've seen it on Discord, right? Collectibles. All the loots for you, Grizz. You and Frosty in particular. <laughs> Only a couple more to collect, and I can't collect them without triggering some story dialogue or unlocking something with a quest. So we will wait to later sessions to complete those sets and then eventually hand them all in. Now we got a dude here, okay. Do there, do there. What we need to do is hit that alarm or break that alarm thingy. Let's just go and do that and then see what hell breaks loose. And we just gotta kill the cultists. Alright, that's Heard fine. We can above. Oh you didn't. You didn't hear anything. What are you talking about? Yo! That's better. That's what we should be doing. This guy down here. There we go. There you go, Grizz. How's that? Is that a bit more acceptable stealth missioning for you? Where's this guy up top? There he is. And... They know I'm here now. Nope. Nope. I stood over the top of him and triggered him. Well. Let's tumble away so we don't alert the others. Oh, and they're going to fight each other. Stealth kill, yes. Get around him. How do these guys block? Aloy does not have a block, but apparently these guys do. That's a bit rude. All right, how many more have we got? They must be nearly gone. These are all our Nora. I've got you, Mark. Friends. I Look what a relief! Victory for all mother. We did it! We did it! We did. Um. So by the way, too, I've up, I've upgraded Aloy's uh, melee abilities because it's really effective for stealth killing machines, for now, or for tying them down and killing them. It's more my natural playstyle anyway. In a lot of games, I like to get up and close into the action, so that's going to be mostly Aloy's playstyle or Aloy's my playstyle, Aloy's techniques as we play through this. Let's grab this loot box here. Grizz, no loot left behind. <laughs> oh, uh, no medicine left behind, that's for sure. Yoink. <laughs> I'll do my best to collect most of the loot you see on screen, Grizz. All the coloured stuff, but some of the plain white stuff we don't want. Also, on the weekend too. Prepared. Had to get to a point where some of these uh, plants that you collect... Uh, is just plain wood, which is a, a resource that you use for crafting arrows and stuff. But I had like nearly 2,000 of it and you can't sell it. And it was filling up my inventory. So I had to drop a whole bunch and just stop picking it up. Now, I have used a bunch, so I do need to collect a few more. So I will collect a few more, but like this wood here. How many have we got? 291. I probably should stop collecting it for the moment. Because otherwise it'll just fill up our bag and I can't use it. Because you can't sell it and you can't trade it. All right, we're here. Where is Sona? The camps have been dealt with. Now to the Ring of Metal. Its high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height. Under fire if we're detected. I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. Yeah. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Sounds like a plan. So long as I get to come with you. A war chief should be grateful for two arrows so eager to spring from the bow. That's right. Yes, Varl. Go with Aloy as her spearmate, but be vigilant. That's right. Don't get lazy. Yes, war chief. I will. All right. So, Frosty, you had the issue, and then you ran out of wood. <laughs> we wait on your signal. So you had too much wood, and then you ran out of wood. <laughs> Ammunition. Yeah, actually, that's true. I need to craft some ammo now because we've spent a bit. Let's do that whilst we have a moment. Pick some of these. Okay, now we've got some blasty things, and we might even use corruption on some of our uh, 
enemies because corruption does work on humans as well. Uh, what do I have to do? Do I have to just follow? Oh, I gotta follow Varl. No, let me take the lead, Varl. Okay. You do have a plan, right? You followed me this far, even into the ruins. I thought you trusted me. I do, but how would you know that this base has a weakness? Patience, Varl. You'll know soon enough. We're reading emails, Varl. We can read emails. Get some technology on you. Yeah, hey, escort missions, I know. The bane of RPGs or action games. Although this is technically a low-level early game quest, so I'm guessing they're trying to still guide us. Up you go. Okay, so I can't jump up, but I can boost him. Okay. Huh? Wait. And us, Val, uh, dude. Yeah. Take my hand. Okay, I was gonna say, where's our boost? <laughs> Search the meta ring for a view of the blaze. Oh, there's lots of dudes here. Oh, and a watcher. Take the one on the right. What do you mean? You want me to take these out? Oh, okay. Guess we can do that. I was just going to leave him in and stealth in all the way. I've been seen. I thought you were going to silently take out the other one, Var. What the hell, man? And Val has dropped out. This is not at all what was meant to happen. Val, stealthy, bro. The sun can't save you now. Finish him. All right, so these guys are labelled as cultists, by the way. So, just to know what is their allegiance? How do they fit into the scheme of things? Because the visitors we had to the Nora ceremony were Kaja. They part of the Kaja. Have you got death from above? You can use stealth. Yeah, well, I do have death, death from above. But I thought I needed to stay up above so we could, like, keep jumping around. I was wrong. Two more. You take the one on the left. Yeah, but... Uh, are you going to be stealthy, Val? Because... So far, you've let me down, bro. Here we go. Silence right. That's much better. Thank you. Make Grizz happy. Okay. <laughs> Drink wine. Hey, Grizz, you don't trust this guy. He's trying to give us away. No, I think he's just a bit of a fail, that's all. There. See that covered shelter? Do you see those corruptors? Focus, Varl. That shelter is full of blaze. A whole stockpile of it. If I set it off, the explosion will destroy those corruptors and collapse the wall too. A breach for the Nora to charge through. Can't yes. get from here though. We'll need to get closer. I'll get closer. You head back. Tell Sona the plan and lead them to that side of the ring. I'll see it done. And when the wall collapses, I'll be first through the breach. Yes, and we'll be all very impressed. Don't be silly, Val. All I have to do is make it all happen. It's fine. We got this. We don't have Val messing up our strats anymore. Be a lot easier. Okay, so we got to get all the way, all the way down there, past uh, all the things. Okay, that's fine. Why not? Oh, we're down in. Into the grass. Strike from above. Down you go. Back into the grass and plan our route so we can skirt around the edges over to there. That sounds like a good plan. We just got to watch this big bellow beast mofo who keeps changing direction. Avoid the corruption on the ground because that stings like your biatch. Okay, so if we can shoot that. All right. Okay, so it's over there. It's not under this. It's further around. Oh, there's some dudes in there. Sneaky sneaks. There's the blaze. We can hit that from here, can't we? I think we can. Let's wait for these guys to just sort of settle in their movements. Bring the chaos. There we go. Flame arrows. 
front of this guy is Wang. That got it. In come the Nora. <laughs> nice. Well, here I am. Oh, rude. Alright, these watches are gonna be a problem. Let's take him out. I've got you sighted. Nice, and this guy. Big wallops, very much satisfied. Oh, we got this bellow beast. Alright. <laughs> now. He's weakness to fire. Yep, cool. First of all. What I want to do is change my bow setup. It is a little frustrating. We only have limited weapon slots, but we have like a million. There we go. We want to use these arrows knock components off and weaken them. Awesome. I love it. Now we've knocked some of his armor and bits off. Set him on fire. And let's give him some sticky bombs. Get out of here, dickhead. Boom. Nice. Now, how many bad guys are still here? Enough. Good hit. Good finish. Well done, Aloy. Undercover. This guy. Oh, this is the friendly. Can we? Can we heal the friendlies? No, no. I don't know what that button, what that symbol means. You're down. You're down. You're down. And this guy. All right. How many more have we got? It's all of them, right? Nope, there's still some more. Okay, that's fine. Dodge. Oh, we're stuck on the fence. There we go. Oh, good follow-up finishing move. Well done, Iloy. Yes, all right. Granny Sauce is watching. Hello, all Granny Sauce. Look upon our victory. A debt of blood is paid. Remember this day, brave Nora. From your lips to the goddess's ears. Yes, remember it. Yes, indeed, totally. Definitely. Be ready to leave this place. Let your spears and arrows rest in the bodies of the fallen. They are tainted like these ruins. Hmm? Or collect loot and move on. They won't be able to kill again. The killers, okay. this corruption, they're all parts of the mystery I'm chasing. Where the trail leads, I go. Sounds good, Aloy. Level 40, cool. You're a skilled warrior, Aloy. Rost trained you well. Did you know him? A long time ago. Well enough to know he was a good man. Then why was he cast out? Yeah. What crime did he commit? I wish I could tell you. But it seems only the High Matriarchs know that story. Oh, and they won't tell us. So I've heard. Well, I should be on my way. Thank you, Aloy. May all mother bless your journeys, wherever they take you. Okay, and Val? You won't be coming back with us, will you? I don't think so. No. I'm glad you accomplished what you were looking for, Varl, but I haven't. Not yet. Look, I know you have to go. You're a seeker, after all. But if you ever pass this way again... Then what? It'd be good to see you, that's all. Okay. I expect we'll regroup at Mother's Crown. Maybe I'll see you there? Maybe you will. I'll see you then. Are we being flirted with once again? Okay, um, so... <laughs> yes, we are, okay. Uh, alright, main mission. I don't even remember what have we got. Asian, uh, uh, main quest. Secret the gates. 
To unravel the conspiracy against her, Aloy, Aloy must leave the sacred land of the Nora tribe, but an infestation of corrupted machines stands in her way. Talk to Mayiria, Maria at Mother's Crown. Now, if I remember correctly, Mother's Crown is major settlement in here. Major being relatively speaking. There's a couple of side quests back here at Mother's Rise where we first came in. And up here is a cauldron, which I also want to tackle because that's where we learn a bit more about the machines and unlock more abilities to uh, override them. Question is, what are we going to do first? I tend to want to clear out side quests first most of the time. I'm thinking maybe what we'll do now is we maybe go and visit this cauldron. Hopefully it will give us some more answers. It will give us some more abilities. And then depending on what time we have left over, maybe we'll do a side quest or two and then back to the main mission in our next session. I think that's a good plan. If you disagree, let me know. Let us fast travel. What's this? Under equipped. Talk to Marzavid. It was actually, I also remember walking past a guy out here somewhere who was like screaming for help and because it was a quest I had to keep ignoring him because we save quests for on stream what quest is this? is it a side quest? it is a side quest the border settlement of Pitchcliff is under attack by Glinthawks what could have caused such an assault? kill the Glinthawks that is the wrong quest I'm reading okay a caravan departed on a dangerous route without any decent ammunition what? without help the expedition expedition is zoomed is, is doomed how do we even pick that up? All right, well, first things first, travel to the campfire. <laughs> Respect shades uh, and my reading skills, or lack, lack thereof, is, is, as is often the case, especially when under pressure. Ugh. Lirum, you feel like everyone flirts with Aloy and she just ignores it. <laughs> I hope you've come to help, because we're getting slaughtered out here. This is the guy, okay, this is the guy I had, I was thinking of who keeps asking for help. And this is the guy I also mentioned to Frosty today when she pointed out there was a chance with all my extra unlocking on the weekend that I may have may have busted uh, one of the side quests or side dialogues. However, we checked at lunchtime and I have not, so we're all good. But this guy, all right, let's help this guy because he keeps yelling at me. <laughs> and he sounds in dire straits. Their shit is broken. What's up, my dude? First, actually, where was the campfire? Let's save. We haven't saved. Good luck with this one, says Frosty. Yeah, you mentioned this one might have had some challenge to it. Well, let's see what happens. We're partially equipped. Thank the sun. You look like a fighter, and that's just what we need. My bung brain boss gave us the wrong crate of ammo. It was marked ammunition, but stuffed with Ridgewood. Right. Without that ammo, we're struggling to fend off watchers. And worse. I'll do yep. what I can to help. Glad to hear it. We need all the... Alarms! Long leg approaching! These guys have the best eye makeup. Amazing. All right, can we? Can we? Oh, all right, we got a ostrich Two thing. Arms! Two arms! Two arms, indeed. All right, where's the big bastard? Because we're gonna tie that shit down, and we're gonna stab some of these other ones in the meantime. All right, come here, you big. No, I missed. Come on, Aloy. One down. Two down. Oh, so much action. No, you don't. Alright, Big Bird is down. Let's get this Watcher in the meantime. Finish him! Done. Get your time down. There you go. Finish! That's it. All set for this Bomber one. Machines! Scrappers! Scrappers, eh? Come on, Aloy. Big heavy hit. Do the heavy hit move, please. That's got him. Nice. And stealth, because... Are we stealth? Yes, we are. Stealth moves for the win. He doesn't know where we are. You're down, zombie. Don't hit our friends. Stealth kill. Where's the prompt? No prompt. 
All right, just have a hit then. Oh, you missed. You dickhead. All right, everyone okay? They're okay. They didn't take the Elder Scrolls Oblivion approach Hello? where doofus quest people can be killed and be very infuriating. Right, let's grab the loot from all the machines. Keep Grizz and Bright and Frosty happy. <laughs> Oink. Heal up. Okay. I've seen machine hunters before, but none like you, Outlander. You saved our asses. Boss! The song cores are gone! What? That's impossible. Unless... Unless Dereed took them. When the first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. Oh, what a dick. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. He couldn't have gotten far. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Brutal. Go <laughs> cores back and you'll get a share. All right, that's fine. Find him. That way, is it? Or is that something else? I, unidentified signal. That would be the cauldron. Ah, uh, that's not what we're after, though. We'll find other clues once we pick up the rest of this loot here. There's some tracks to follow. Which way, magical gizmo? This way. To read. You're gonna have to kill you, to read. Are you a bad person, to read? Jam says yellow, yellow, yellow. Yes, there is indeed yellow. Hello, baby sauce jam. Aren't you meant to be in bed? Are you excited because granny sauce is visible? Here he is. What are you doing, my dude? You gonna be a twat or what? Hello, Dorid. Who are you? The caravan sent me. Caravan? What caravan? The one you sabotaged. You figured no explosive arrows meant no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. Ah, oh, that makes it okay then. Oh, a stalker! Jesus, man, stalkers are hard. And you and you cop one this early in the story? Seriously? Lucky I have learnt how to fight these from my exploration, because otherwise, come on, give me another hit. No, nope. all right. These guys are hard. They hit hard. Dodge, dark, dip, dive. Oh, fuck off. Come on, hit him, Aloy. All right, no tail spin move for you, my dude. You can have some fire arrows. Yeah, so these things uh, have a stealth generator, right? They can turn invisible which also means that your focus can't track them. But if you use the uh, the tear arrows that rip components off machines, you can disrupt his stealth like we have. All right, time to really... Oh, oh I guess so the other thing I like to do is to tie him down. Yeah, sit down. Finishing move. Oh, that was rough. Talk to Dorit. Oh, Dorit didn't die. Really? That's surprising. He got shot but didn't die? Okay. So, Frosty, this is why you said it's a doozy. Yeah, man, that is that is not very nice. Stalkers are the worst. And he copped them so early in the game. Wow. The caravan. Did they live? No, oh, thanks yes. to you. I got to them in time. <laughs> Thank you. As I turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away m my sins. Oh, he's gonna die. What okay. a waste. At least he died better than he lived. <laughs> Fair enough. Aloy, bring in the sass. All right. And he had a health potion. Should have just drank your health potion, bro. I'm gonna run back. Must travel. Um, I need to get some mount business happening too. Now I have unlocked some more skill points. No, we need one more, and then I can summon a mount at any time. And a turkey that we missed. 
you're back. And with the Suncors, I see. And Dorid? A, uh, stalker got him. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. Here, take my share. You've earned it. Thank you, sir. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. I think it will. All right, next side quest is complete. Let's loot the turkey. Some rewards. Our main quest is taking us to here, but that's not what we're going to do right now. Now, we are going to tackle Cauldron. Cauldron Sigma. Turn this off. And we are not far away. So I have not seen a cauldron. I stepped inside this one and Aloy started uh, talking about stuff. I'm like, uh, this might have little plot points. So I reloaded a save so I could save it for being on stream. Now these cauldron things, this is where somehow you unlock more technical abilities. So I'm interested to see what this looks like. Okay, so Sparkle Sauce, <laughs> a little bam, a little little jam baby sauce is hyped up. His battery is full. <laughs> and yes, this game is super pretty. Wait till you see the 4K recordings that make their way onto YouTube. Oh, it looks amazeballs. There's got to be a way in somehow. Oh, there'll be a way in, all right. Once we take out some of these pesky machines. Dive away, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. See, this is what I mean. <laughs> Random world event stealthing is so much easier than those corrupted machine mission stealthings. Uh, all right, we'll get, hang on. And then some of them do that little pulse, which can be annoying. He's going to do one too. I'll hide behind the rocks. I was too slow on the prompt. Now we're revealed. You don't scare me. Although maybe you should. And crit hit. So one of the things that I've learned is a bit frustrating, for example, is if you are too quick to hit the attack button waiting for that prompt for the takedowns, Aloy just does a big old noisy... A big old noisy swing and ruins everything. Not the first time it's happened, not the last time that it's going to happen. That's better. So I've got to wait for the prompt to appear under Aloy's feet before I push the button. There we go. So, let's grab a few of these. I have used a bit more medicine than I would have liked. Pick it up. Cauldron Sigma. There must be a way inside. Quite a door. But how to open it? Okay. Saying, open says me. Let's try overriding with our... See that? Oh, I've got to hold the button. Okay, use the jerry-rigged duct tape override device. That's got it. Well, this is certainly different. It looks cool, but very different. I nearly stepped off the edge by accident. Steady L way down. The metal, the light. It's like this entire place is part of some huge machine. But who made it? Is it all one giant network machine? <laughs> fuck was that Aloy considering that she autopilots onto obstacles that was dumb ridiculous I hope they fixed some of these annoyances in uh, Forbidden West Aloy's a little bit inconsistent in her terrain tra traversal most of the time she's been pretty good but the metal the light. of course of course she's gonna it's, fuck up when part everyone's watching this is part of some huge machine I have learned not to be sprinting when you come near them. Just be running. Wow. Not even plain running was enough. 
Frosty, you've yet uh, to fail to repel down. Well, that's true. I have not failed at repelling, but I have failed at obstacles because of a couple of times my fault, I have to admit. Like now. Um, other times uh, because of Aloy, yeah, not being persist, pers uh, consistent in her behaviours. Especially when you get up in the mountains. There's a lot of interesting rock climbing you have to do. And I've had some mixed results with how she traverses some of that. The uh, main thing I've learned is don't sprint and uh, rock climb. That's the main thing. Metal light. So normally when you approach an obstacle at a normal pace, she will navigate onto it correctly. So let's be super careful this time. There we go. That's got it. Still not as good as Altair from Assassin's Creed. That thing looks like a triangular pipe. What's it for? So damaging creates a stealth area. All right, what have we got? We got a watcher here. Okay, can we stealth kill? Too slow. Now he's down. All right, what else have we got out here? Some rubble and some watches and something over there. And those things are moving components around. I wonder where. Things are moving components. Good. Okay, so I'm assuming this. Uh, gassy, cloudy, misty stuff acts a bit like the grass, right? I am absolutely bringing all the fails tonight, Frosty, which is really annoying considering how much I have <laughs> improved my skills over the weekend doing all the exploration. Anyway, that's fine. We'll get it done. As long as it's entertaining, that's all that matters. But at least a few times tonight, hopefully you've seen at least some of the expertise I can bring with my practicing. The main thing is I need to not talk too much and distract myself too much and wait for the prompts. That's it. Wait for the thing to appear before hitting the button. It's out here. Canyon. Discharge pylon. Where was a discharge pylon? Okay. Yoink. Medicine. Oh, some rats too. Save these for the trail. Uh, oh, climb. Okay. Okay, so Cauldron has glowy climb bits, not painted yellow climb bits, and the lights are coming on. Okay. This reminds me a little bit of the... Was it Mass Effect Andromeda, where we had these alien ruins to climb in? With the time limits? And stuff? It feels a bit like that. Also feels a bit like the Vex from uh, Destiny. Although I haven't played Destiny in a few, le few years. That's an uplink... What is that? Magnetic container rail. That thing near the gap. What does it do? I don't know. Let's touch it. Oh, we can hack it. <sighs> Gross. But we'll take it. It's a bit like Groot in uh, Guardians game. Guardians of the Galaxy. He grew very handy. Anything else down there? Nope. Let's continue this away. Straight into the wall. Uh, Frosty caught up for two seconds and the putty cat a seat thief made a return. <laughs> uh, luckily she got up as you approached. Might need these. Oh, at least she gave you the, the seat back, yeah. Hilarious. Okay, all these lights are coming on, which is good, he says with a question mark. We think good. I don't know what this triangle business means, but can we hack the door open? Yes, we can. What is out here? Still no machines to fight. It looks like those flying machines move components around. Might be able to take me somewhere. Really? So we're going to take one for a ride, are we? And what are we going to loot in here? Metal shards and a coil. Sense. Okay, 
does it say maglav can support human weight so do we just jump yes we do just jump okay yeah that's what i was wondering but oh the machines are built in places like this and they're still running so these cauldrons what actually build they build all of this they build them all and spawn them into the wilds which is why there's still so many machines despite the fact that the local humans tend to hunt them for resources regularly I can't even move the camera right now I'm just gonna sit and wait I've got as far as this thing will take me okay aka game says stop going this way go to the cauldron core I would love to if we could figure out where that is all right can we so it's puzzle solving time jump on that did not jump on Aloy over there climb up there that's what we're doing yes okay that's good with that interesting so this machine this whole center is still running a thousand years later still running doing stuff of amazing power supplies considering also that Aloy's focus has not needed recharging in the 10 years that she's had it. No, get down you idiot. I'm off Aloy, thank you. The loot for careers and continue down the oh there we go there's some machinies oh, there's one up there too plenty of watches around okay that's fine take them out as we make our way through now can we what does this do build bridges is that what it's going to do yes bridge mode activated He's curious about something. Is he curious about his dead bro? Or he's not sure. So let's create a stealth hidey spot. Multiple watches through there. Watches everywhere. All right. So currently we can actually override watches. I wonder what we'll learn in this facility. Oh, multiple's going over there. That's fine. Let's go take this one out. Oh, and a cargo bot thing. Can't remember what they're called. Shell walker. That's it. I've been taken out a shell walker before, but first time for everything. They're investigating their dead bro <laughs> on the floor. Dead machine. Maybe we can just go out into open combat and take them all out, but I feel like I should try and do it stealthily. Calm, calm. That's right. Tell yourself, hey boy. Be calm. Like a leaf in the wind. <laughs> Not happy. I'm assuming we're to make our way through here somewhere. And this is a stealth field here. Let's go take out this watcher whilst he's on the edge. Got enough space between us and the others. There we go. <laughs> it's going to be stressful. It's actually not going to be too bad, Sparkle Source, because we don't actually really need to stealth through it all. And I've had a bit of stealthing practice over the weekend, at least for um, explorational stuff. It's just some of the quest missions that appear to make stealth a lot harder. But I think that's because that mission wanted us to team up with Nora and not be a solo, <laughs> not be a solo runner that does everything. Look at this. At least that's what I tell myself when I fail at stealth. Oh, he can't be. He can't be one shot. Interesting. Oh, he can see me hiding behind there. 
All right, that's fine. Shit. That claw does some damage, eh, bro? Let's do my favorite tactic. Oh, we can't, uh... There we go. So, can we not tie him down? Because, there we go, now he's tied down. Critical strike. And another critical strike. Come on, one more. There we go. And our other watcher friend here. No idea where we are. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they are tough. I have not taken out a shell walker until now, Frosty. That's my first one. Because I just didn't need to deal with them in the other exploration activities that we did over the weekend. And this other guy's coming to check it out. Are you going to come all the way down or are you going to bugger off again? He's going to bugger off again. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to take him out in one hit, but apparently not. That's all right. We got it done. Take out some loot. Ooh, is this the core where we're looking to get towards? That, that is very epic and elaborate. I do not know how we're getting down there yet. Okay, yeah, they're too chonky for a one hit, yeah. And that's why you got to learn which machines are one hits and which are not. So I've now learned that uh, those fellas are not one hit wonders. That's okay. I do like tying him down with my trip caster and then stabbing him. That works well. And some machines are just fun to shoot the components off and then use their own weapons against them like Thunder Jaws. Hella scary, but can be done. We will do that at some stage. We're going to need to at some point on stream and that will be interesting. Okay, grabbing all the loot for Frosty, Bright and Grizz. Oh, I nearly tumbled off of that edge. Don't actually know the way forward. There's no dodgy USB ports to hack into. Also can't climb back up. That's so unexpected. Alright, let's just tumble off the edge then. <laughs> and die from that. Are you serious? Fucking hell. I'm doing great. Thank you, Midnight. Despite the fact that that just happened. Alright, do that again. Grab the loot. <laughs> yeah, apart from now. Yeah, so I can't climb back up there. I don't like all this darkness either. So we can't jump down there? There's no repel prompts either. Can't climb back up. Well, normally when we start running out of options, I just start shooting stuff. Also, normally, or frequently anyway, frequently Aloy will not fall off an edge. She will not allow me to let her fall off an edge. Get no problem with that one, though. Oof. Yeah, this is kind of dumb. Maybe I shouldn't have stepped down to collect the loot, but... Is it there if not to be collected? Need to grab onto. Nope, doesn't do anything. Nope. Oh, hang on. This here. Is this like a rope? Yeah, there it is. Found it. Glowing beam is apparently not a laser beam, but uh, just a glowy rope. All right, that's fine. We got it. Well done, team. <laughs> ding, ding. Thanks, Frosty. <laughs> oh, uh, health could have been too low to, to survive the tumble, but I think it's because the game says, no, you must be climbing above. Hack the USB port. Let us in! Okay, Shen. Almost to the heart. Almost to the heart. So, uh, Frosty, you were waiting for it to click and knew it would eventually. Ah, we got there. 
<laughs> Imagine someone who's played these games thoroughly must find it super frustrating to watch me fumble my way through. In which case, I apologize, but welcome. <laughs> if you're watching live, tips are welcome. No spoilers, obviously. If you're watching the recorded high definition versions, well, hopefully, I can at least be entertaining for you to watch. More loot. Through, oh, through. No. Yes, we came down from there, so we run through there, right? That sounds legit. Ah, that thing's building one of those. I was going to call it a beetle belly, but what is it? A bellow back. Woven from light is probably an oversimplification. Discharge pylon. Okay, might provide access to the central process. All right. Anyway, let's jump down. I'm also guessing that no one else has come into cauldrons like this except for maybe the other cultists who have focuses and maybe that's how they learned to corrupt more stuff although it did seem like they had dug up corrupter machines so why do those corrupter machines exist in the first place so these pylons Can't shoot them. Can we plug into them then? There's some climby. Yep. Bit of loot in the corner there. Grab that shortly. Oh, okay. Plug in. Good job with the fire. Good luck with the fire breathing machine. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Totally fine. All right, well, that's an instant aggro, apparently. <laughs> to be honest, Frosty, it's not the fire breathing machine that's irritating. It's the damn watchers. Who are also here going to contribute, although we can stealth our way around a little bit. No, nope, not if we get knocked back like that, we can't. Okay, that's it. Let's let them all just cool down. All y'all, just take a breath. Nothing to see here. There is no red-haired girl trying to stealth her way around. Just go about your business. All oh, that big bastard's close. Interesting. But you know what we can do because we have tools at our disposal. We are going to use our wall bow, which puts status effects on stuff over here, please. And get corrupted. Go crazy. Go fight some shit. We just sit back and watch. Although that watcher over here has seen us. So this uh, bellowback is not on our side. He's just a, he's against all sides currently. Corrupt, corrupting them is not overriding them. But it can be useful when you've got an abundance of machines you need to take down. All right, time for my next trick. This guy is fire. Oh, he's broken the barriers. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, and he's shooting some fire. All right, you're going to ah, get frozen, motherfucker. And when things are frozen, they are brittle and take more damage. So if we stick on some sticky bombs and actually fire them. Come on, Aloy. Hit the fucking button when I push it. charge us thank you you can have some more 
And let's critical strike it. Can we critical strike the big machines? Yes, we can. And another one. Come on. Big hit. Oh, not as big a hit as I would have liked. Get frozen. And some explosions for you. Fire it. Got her done. The watch is distracting the big boy. It's kind of helpful for you at least too. Uh, across the, yeah. Damn, these things can be annoying. A handling coil. I don't really care for handling coils too much. Anyway, so this facility was constructing one of those bellow backs. Then do they just release them into the wild? I wonder how they get up there. What else can we learn? There was a loot. Yes, give me the purple loot. Purple loot, moon's good loot. Tear coil. Tear damage bonuses are fun against some of the bigger things where you just shoot them with these arrows that, uh, these arrows? No, arrows that rip their bits off. Likely serves as the central control. Really? All right. Let's plug in then. I'm going to download or upload? Not sure. Ah, you overrode some watches, Frosty. Nice. This will help me override them. All right, cauldron complete. So that's what it is to do a cauldron. Oh, we get a skill point for that too. All right. Sweet. Okay, so there are multiple cauldrons. We have done one. We can now do grazers, scrappers, lance horns, and a sawtooth. Ah, that'll be fun. I wonder if we can. Frosty, do you know if we can ride Sawtooths? Because that would be hilarious. Riding a big giant panther machine. Let's grab that. Okay, let's get to the campfire so we can save. We can't, oh, we can't ride Sawtooths. God oh, damn it. I'm assuming that means the same for Ravagers. So we can only, we can only, uh, I need some more, um, need some, oh, I've run away. Where did you go? Need some more meat <laughs> for our potion making. I'm assuming, therefore, we can only ride, like, non-super mega machines. We can only ride, like, herbivore-type machines. Okay, cauldron complete. Very good. Next up, let us tackle, I guess, the side quests in the area which there are a couple here in the center and there's a couple here back at let's tackle those before we continue through them sounds like a good plan anyway fast travel <sighs> so frosty it was um oh you were what's this you overrode was that separate but it was a big big awesome. nut instead of sawtooth killed his friend ah that's when you were trying to ride one, right? <laughs> he overrode him and he killed his friend, <laughs> which was still helpful, but you still couldn't ride him. Gotcha. Midnight, your heart just broke. We hope you could ride a big robot cat. Yeah, me too. That would have been amazing. All in good time. We'll just ride other stuff, I guess. All right, let's pick up some side quests from this area in this little town here. There's a few of them to go around, so let's suss them out. Excuse me. Tame. Brave. Mother's crown could make use of your bow me well you are a brave aren't you we need boar skins our stitcher works his hands raw repairing cloaks and armor there's good boar hunting to the east past the falls but there's a machine out there now okay. when i saw it i dropped the hunt ran for cover knocked an arrow but then i no shame in living to fight another day no it's my ring had come loose that was my luck in the wild. My mother's mother's prized from a machine's jaws long past. Right. You put that much trust in a ring? After all that's happened, I need luck as much as the tribe needs those skins. I'll see what I can find. If you can help, you have my thanks. I'll be at the campfire when you come by again. So we're not collecting boar skins. We're collecting or looking for this guy's ring, is it? Oh, no, we are. We are. Uh, find the ring and get some boar skins of course all right 
All right, let's fast travel out as close as we can. Actually, we can fast travel all the way to here. Let's do that. Um, now we can summon mounts and stuff, but why do that if we can fast travel a little bit further? And then quick save whilst we're here. And let us find some boar skins, shall we? Ooh, and there are some machines and a boar. So, Frosty's tip for fighting boars I love the most because you can't one-shot them with arrows. But you can slap the shit out of them with uh, the heavy spear attack. All right, now this guy's getting a bit grumpy. Let's override these. I haven't overridden any of these yet. This is going to be new. So what is he, like a deer? A deer wannabe or an elk wannabe? There you go. You sit still, my friend. Where be some boar? There's a boar out there. And a chair as well. <laughs> there are people with games. <laughs> and stories to tell. Open wide. Ooh, we've filled up our resource. Yep, go away. I know how to a sawtooth. If I can get in close. Yeah, let's override him. No, not that prompt, you dickhead. No, stop! This one! Here we go. Be our friend, Sawtooth. Alright, first time overriding a Sawtooth. So he's our friend, but we cannot ride him. That would have been so cool to ride one of those. Ah, well, maybe in Forbidden West we can. A whole bunch of boars here, though, so let's just go slap another boar around. I'm almost 40 hours later, and it's still so satisfying. Hells yeah. I can't carry more. Ooh, can we not even pick up the blue skin? All right, inventory clean out. All right, that should be enough for now. Oh, we did get the skin. It's just the fatty meat we didn't pick up. All right. That bit's done. Now we just got to get his ring. Now, can we summon our friend... Oh, we can't ride those deer things either. Because I don't have a summon button for him. All right, that's fine. We have enough skills now to finally unlock the convenience that is just plain summoning random mount. Here, boy! What do we got? Let's go. Okay, steady up. Woo, Roach. Steady, Roach. Find... Marked. Four. Now, is that Thumpy Thump our friend? It is our friend. He's blue. Blue means friend. Watcher. Vampire. Ah, that's right. The overriding does wear off eventually, doesn't it? <laughs> Better keep that in mind. Let's jump off this thing. Search for a missing ring. How big is this area to search? Oh, all the way over there. Okay, so it updates when we get close. That's annoying, but workable, I guess. Yeah, you can see the timer ticking down on overrides if they're attacking. So I wonder if they're not in combat. Does it last an infinite amount of time and then only tick down in combat? Does anyone know the answer? Let's stealth our way through here. Hide in grass, which is not all grass. Let's hide in this bigger patch. This was tame. And a boar. Ah, so we're technically following tracks. Okay. I guess that helps explain it a bit more. Marker here. Is this going to be it here in this boar? Something yes, good. it is. Yeah, that would be Tame's ring. All right, we got that done. 
Got your ring. Pulled it out of the mouth of a boar, apparently. Here you go, bro, bro. How did you fare on the hunt? I've brought you the boar skins Easy. and your lucky ring, Tame. All mother be praised. And you, uh, of course. Where did you find it? Halfway down a boar's gullet. Not so lucky for the boar. I think I'll wear it around my neck from now on. Oh, mother be praised. A quick save. You share the gifts of a true Nora Bray. Thanks, man. Let's go over here um, and just sell a few things quickly at the merchant because we are full. Nothing worse than not being able to pick up the loots. Here she is, the hero of Devil's Grief. Ah, yes, thank you. I've been wanting to meet you. Ah, that is main quest material. We're going to skip that for the moment. We're going to pass. Sorry, uh, Maria. Um, all right. Wrist, apparently. Well, I hope you're looking to buy. I could use the shards. I'm actually here to sell. See anything you like? Sure you do. That's enough for now. Now, what can we ask you about crossing the border? I'm heading for the border. You're a trader? What do you know of the Karja tribe or their capital, Meridian? I've never left our sacred land, but I've traded with Karja outlanders from time to time. Too fancy for their own good, if you ask me. As for Meridian, it's all they talk about. A city built atop a mesa with soaring towers high as mountains. How did the Karja ever come to build such marvels? Slave labor. But their new king has forbidden slavery. <laughs> I guess he cares more about justice than new construction, huh? Good. So we should. All right, thank you. Well, I'll be off. I hope business picks up. Thanks. Me too. Okay, so next... My turn will come. Side quest. That's misleading. That campfire is not at all close. <laughs> all right. Excuse me. Den. The one who was an outcast. My hunting party. My party has... You fought the killers, didn't you? The ones that attacked in the Proving. You saved many lives. Yep. I wish I could have saved everyone. Did you... Did you... How far did you follow the killers? What are you getting at? Are you worried your hunting party has been killed? There are worse things than being killed. Ooh, okay. What? What's worse than being killed? I'm... I'm not like you. I can't live as an outcast. I'm afraid... My friends went into the ruins. I can't go there or I will be cast out. But I can't abandon them either. That's right. A lot of the ruins, including cauldrons, are forbidden for Nora tribes people to venture within. Another reason why I'm glad Aloy was originally an outcast and doesn't really care for the tribes and their laws. What was your hunting party doing? After the proving, we were so angry. We wanted to strike back, and those corrupted machines left tracks we could follow. We caught up to them at dusk. We fought with all our burning hatred. But in the dark and chaos, I, I, I couldn't see everything. They stampeded, and, and then I was alone. I ran back here, but my party is... Your party is... is gone. All right, what do you want? Tell me what you want. Speak plainly. Find my friends. We were so eager to fight the corrupted machines, we didn't realize we'd reached the edge of the ruins. You're a seeker. You can enter Devil's Thirst without judgment. But please, have pity on us. Don't tell anyone we were there. You have nothing to worry about on that end, trust me. I'll see what I can do about your friends. Okay. Let's just quick save. Travel closer. Search and rescue. Save these noobs. Why do I not have a quest marker? Did I already did I already do it in my other here we go, it's an errand, not a side quest. Then fellow braves strayed into the forbidden ruins of Devil's Thirst. As a seeker, Aloy could look for them without breaking a taboo. We love breaking taboos anyway, but let us fast travel and go investigate. Stopping. I can stop squinting against the light. Alright, big old tall neck doing his rounds. Let's investigate these ruins. This look like the remnants of like some big city buildings. Kinda cool. Alright. Trail. 
Brave arrows in these machines. Must have caused a stampede. The battle took place here. But who won? Meanwhile, look at this. There's an old statue from the old ones, the ancient ones. Us humans. Keep in, keep in mind too, I think uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is set somewhere, I think maybe Colorado-ish in uh, in the US. Could be wrong about the state, but it's somewhere there. Anyway, let's examine some of the machines they killed. Tracks lead into the ruins, along with human footprints. Okay, expedition says follow the tracks. Which goes this way. Thought there'd be more machines patrolling around. Oh no, there they are. hear voices you'll be under the something in no time that's a big where is everyone where are the voices coming from i'm still there yeah i'm still here where the hell are you There. We're getting closer now. I can hear the voices getting louder. Who the fuck is this guy? It's not even showing up on my scans. Ah, there they are. They are upstairs in the ruins. All right, now we can hack these motherfuckers. Let's do that and get him on our side. Someone's still there. All right, my dude, you can go and fight the other sawtooth. Because that's going to be fun. Have at it. Go, go, go. To battle. Yes. Oh, he's kicking a lot of ass. This is where it is. Jeez, you made that look easy. Now, can we... Can we kill these when they're on our side? What's the deal? No. You just have to wait for it to wear off, or can we... I suppose I could shoot it. What's your experience been, Frosty? Someone's still there. Let me equip my bow of stripping. Diggity. Nope, wrong arrow. to uh, make some more of these arrows too. There. Terror Blast arrows. Love these two. Start smacking it and it'll get angry. All right, that's cool. Still there. Oh, missed. Start ripping the opponents off. Oh, I'm using the wrong arrows like a dickhead. That'll explain it. There we go. Fascinating. Did not dodge that. Oh, come on, Aloy. That's a fail. That's better. You know, break your bonds. You settle down. Come on, another critical hit. Give me another one. That's it. And then a heavy hit. Go. Come on. Hit the fucking button, Aloy. Oh, it still didn't finish it, though. That got him. Safe to come out yet? Yes, it's safe to come out. We did all the hard work for you. Let's grab the... Oh, you're that brave who was outcast. What are you doing here? Your friend Den told me to come find you. Why are you up there? The Sawtooth ripped our packs from us. Uh, uh, me. Um, us. Without weapons, this was the best we could manage. Thank you so much for destroying it. Now we can get home. One thing, you won't tell anyone you saw us here, will you? That's fine. I didn't. At least, not your friend. 
Need any help getting down? We'll go back on our own. Don't take this the wrong way, but maybe we shouldn't be seen with you, or they might figure us out. Of course. You're welcome. Uh, so, Frosty, the uh, timer ticking down may be a result of... I do have... Ah, because I've got the skills unlocked, uh, a machine will stay overridden indefinitely. So, forever. I forgot I did that. Yay, for permanent friends. Permanent <laughs> overridden machine friends. All right. Quest complete. Back we go. Turn it in. Uh, but I had not attacked something that was overridden before, so that was a new experience to learn how that works. All right, where is he? Over here. It hurts now. I found your friends, you know where. They'll be back shortly. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a relief. Yes. You won't tell anyone, will you? Relax. The matriarchs are up singing the hymn of atonement. I think you're safe. You're right. The hymn atones for all of us. Oh. Thank you. That's not what I meant, but okay. <laughs> what she meant is the matriarchs are too busy being overly religious to even worry about what you were doing or how we may have helped you. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's totally cool. Whatever. All right. So we have... Oh, we've got some side quests back here. Let's do another one from over here. Side quest city. Talking about the Kaja Faithless, so there's still some anger towards the Kaja. I haven't learned much about them yet. War Chief Sona, you're reinforcing Mother's Crown? If the Nora are to weather another attack by the Metal Devil, we must brace our defenses. Still, the concern is not yours. You're not planning to command. That's you right. Ask War Chief. Very well. We need to harvest lancehorns. They carry chill water, and their lenses have many uses also. Okay. I have chill water now. I have millions. Our ice and fire will stave off the machines. That leaves the matter of a lancehorn lands. There is hunting to the west of here. I also need the watchtower stocked with signal arrows. Take these to Orn's Tower in the south. If you would. We shall. So one of those green items I sold at the vendor earlier actually would have been handy to give here, but never mind, that's fine. Shortage of supplies, gather a lens and deliver the arrows. Okay, this is where we're hunting here. It's fine. And deliver the arrows down here. Oh, all right. Well, we'll run down there and access that campfire. So let us exit. Or can we fast travel to the other side of this little mountain stack here? Yes, we can. Uh, so lance horns. All right, that's fine. Oh, another sawtooth over there. We don't want sawtooth, we want lanthorns. Now these are funny, I've seen like some of these in like giant packs of like 10, 15. And I just wiped up the entire pack like a complete sociopath. Why are there no lanthorns here? Okay, up through this way. Somewhere in this area. There's one. Not gonna be a problem overriding that lanthorn. Catching it though. Don't need to override it. We need to loot them for lenses. And we got one. Well, that was fast and easy. Cool. Let's summon a mount. Let's go for a ride. Go, go, go. This way. So... Yep, just frolic over the little rock. Yep, good. Come on. It's supposed to be all-terrain vehicle. Four-wheel drive mode engaged. Now, these are also a little bit frustrating because you can't usually make them jump manually. They auto-jump over obstacles. So it's a little bit clunky sometimes when the terrain gets slightly unsmooth. Where are we delivering these? Up. Are we climbing that or running up that? Looks like a climbing spot. Okay. Whoa there. Whoa, Roach. Okay, don't hold the sprint button when, cl when climbing. 
Lesson learnt before. Ooh, she didn't autopilot onto that. Yep. That's better. No! You turkey! Slow down. I'm not sprinting. Okay, here we go. Aloy has no fear. I would be completely full of fear. You're Orn? Aren't you a little young to be a sentinel? <laughs> you can talk. Fair. <laughs> the war chief had me bring you these fire arrows. Send up a signal the moment you see anything suspicious, all right? <coughs> I know, I know. I'm young, not stupid. <coughs> if they come back... Just be safe. The trip down's the best part. Yeah, is it a flying fox down? No, it's repelling. It was what gave me a heart attack last time. Well, at least when we first... Very first time I did this. Scared the shit out of me. Lucky Frosty was guiding me. <laughs> Whee! Alright, well that was another short... Right, some trunks. <laughs> Silly turkey. Alright, well that's another side quest complete. Smashing him. We'll get the rest of the side quests done this session. You're on Nora. Do That's the main quest. That's not what we're be doing. Well when you fall. Some things are beyond our care. I know better. Up here. Next session, we'll crack on with the story. Now we side quest. Yeah, the fudge. So, she survived her wounds. Climb up to the watchtower, okay. Where? <laughs> Climb up, oh, up there, not these little ones, the one way, way up there. Surprisingly, that's easier because look at all these nicely marked climbing trails. And, <laughs> oi, nice. Oh, up. Up, up, and away. War Chief. Might need this. I brought you the Lanshorn Lens, Sona. I'll make a weapon with this myself. No warrior should forget the feel of craft. Mm -hmm. And you brought the signal arrows to warn? Mm -hmm. I did. Kind of hope he never has to use them, though. We stand agreed. It is a poor War Chief who has a craving for war. For now, all I ask of our braves is that they are ready. I thank you for your aid. You are welcome. Should all mother chest us with another storm, we will not bend to it. Okay, is that all the side quests within Mother's Crown? It is. Let us go back to Mother's Rise. Do the two side quests tucked away down here. It is kind of cool to be helping the tribe sort of rebuild and fortify themselves. Certain satisfaction to it. What we should be doing first. As we should be saving. Okay, what is going on over here? You all right? You don't look great. That brave. Sounds like he's suffering. Yes. It's only a matter of time before he passes on. Oh. Rough. I've seen people die before, but never in such pain. I want to be strong like you. Nothing I do comforts him. I don't even have any dream willow to ease his pain. There should be some in stashes along brave trails to the east, but I must keep vigil for this man. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose you could check the stashes? Even a little dream willow would ease his pain. We'll go get your drugs. Yep, it's all fine, but uh, first... You said that you um, wanted to be strong, like me. I take it you know who I am? I do. I know a lot of people didn't want you in the proving. But if mm. you hadn't been there, everyone would have died. Also true. Shows how much we know. The very person we needed was someone the tribe never wanted. Exactly. I wish I could borrow some of your courage now. For him. You don't need to borrow what you already have. I hope you're right. There's no shame in being caring and empathetic, young lass. How did the man you're caring for get hurt? He was one of the war party. Wounded in battle down the ridge there. He was too weak to be carried back to Mother's heart. So they brought him here. I'm supposed to comfort him, but all I can do is whisper. Tell him to think of his mother's smile. 
Could you see the ambush from here? I heard it. Explosions and screams and... and howls of machines like monsters. Mm. That's what he keeps groaning and muttering about. Machines like nightmares ripping everyone to shreds. Mm. If only I could calm him. Help him forget all that and go to All Mother in peace. You're young for a healer, aren't you? Yes. I'm still learning the basics. But all the true healers are busy in Mother's heart. Ah, crap. Besides, this brave is beyond healing. What he needs is someone to stay with him. And that, I can do. That is a tough job. I would struggle to do that, but... I wouldn't want to, but... Well, no, I wouldn't want to, but I wouldn't give up and leave someone alone to die. You know what I mean? Anyway, rough. Rough what you're doing. I commend you, uh, young lady. We will help. Tell me what you need again. Dream Willow. An oil made from the bark of water willows. That brings sleep and numbs pain. Yep. My supply is gone, but hunters keep it in stashes along brave trails, out of reach of beasts and machines. There should be some left in the stashes along trails to the east. All right. Then we'll get some. I'll check the stashes for Dream Willow if I get a chance. You will? Thank you. My only wish is to ease this poor man's suffering. Yeah. Okay. Insult, injury, that's what we're doing. Where do we need to head? All the way over there. Where's our nearest camp? Cool. Okay, so we have... Oh, we've got one here and... Okay, so we've got two. Let's get the close one first then, I guess. The and trail. it's just up Should there. Should be a cache of dream up there. If we can figure out how to get up there. Ah. Do we slide down or walk across from there? Can we jump? Nope, we can't jump up there. Okay. We must solve the jump puzzle. Here it is. There we go. Now, sometimes if you're not sure where to go, you just push different directions, and then eventually Aloy will reach in the direction she needs to go. And that's when you know you can push the jump button. Subtle. But handy when it works, which is most of the time. Most of the time. Okay. No dream willow. Just a few shards. Ah. Damn. Not as smooth, not as, smooth as we could have been. All right, let's go to the other one. Come on, horsey. Let's go. Oh, there's a big herd of grazers or something. I am looking forward to learning more about the story and the lore. Why do these machines get built to imitate real, real wildlife and their behaviours? Because they obviously don't actually eat grass, they just imitate grazing and eating grass. Might be a cache of dream on that brief trail. How are we getting there? Ah, from these posts. Okay. Climb onto said posts. Let's grab this bit of wood. Can we jump from here? Nope. Can we... There's climbing ledges over there. Can we just jump like... Yes, we can. Okay. Now, this is where it's automated jumping. There you go. And then you see a reach. Now I know I can press the jump button. And like I say, the rest is automated, which works most of the time. Except for when it doesn't. And I'm early in a stream and under pressure. <laughs> Looks like someone swapped all the dream below in these caches for shards. Oh, has someone been... These caches. Feel want to know. Someone been selling the medicines. That's a bit rude. Or something. Back we go to Mother's Rise and see what else we can do. And it's raining. She stands up, staring so intently. I've already been to those stashes. All I found was a few shards. That's strange. Who would have taken the dream, Willow? It's possible that Jun has gathered more. You could ask him, if you're willing to make the journey. Who the hell is Jun? Did you say someone named Jun might have some dream, Willow? Yes. He may be a recluse, but he helps the tribe by picking herbs and brewing medicines. The problem is that he lives west of Mother's Crown, and the machines in that region are 
troublesome. What sort of machines? Scrappers. And sawtooths. It's quite dangerous. Uh, we can do it, don't worry about it. I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Find Jun who's over here. Okay, so then we need to follow and unlock. All good. Let's go for a ride. Enjoy the scenery. Hopefully the rain's cleared up. And it has. Excellent. So we are heading this way. That's a long flying fox trail down there in the distance. Past these grazers. Never mind us. Shut up. Go away. Don't worry about it. Snow haze. Why is bone? That thought got dark. Okay, are we going to keep running? Yes, we are. I was going to say, are we going to sneak or keep running? I think we'll just run through these scrappers and see what happens. Sometimes they can knock us off the mount, though. Come on, you silly horse. Keep going. You keep going away, too. There we go. Mountain, don't. Ah, oh, I dislike the amount of autopilot these things have sometimes. Cool, well, that's a dead end. Should have stealth, eh? Hey? Back to your business. Yeah, we... yeah, back to your business, you silly machines. Here we go, we're climbing. All right. That doesn't sound good. I'm locked in. You're locked in. I can't imagine these huts have the most sophisticated locks. <laughs> All right. How do we... Yeah, I'm. I'm here. Unblock the door. <laughs> Please. Spirit Is open. There? Yes. Oh my! What happened? You praised. I thought I'd never be freed. Your Wally. What happened? A gang of outcasts, that's what. They burst in, stole my dream willow, and left me to die. Of course they did. A gang of outcasts? Yes, a gang. The door crashed open. I didn't stand a chance. They grabbed my dream willow and left me for dead. Why would outcasts steal your dream willow? Why? Because it's the most valuable herb I gather, of course. Miserable thieves. They took nothing else? No. Mark my words. They have struck a deal with outsiders. It's shards thereafter, and they'll kill to get it. Yep, that's why we found the shard stashes then. Which way did the outcasts go? Up the mountain, I think. You might catch them if you hurry. Whatever you do, don't let their shabby looks fool you. They'll kill you as soon as look at you. That's what they think. I need to catch my breath. Yeah, you could stop talking for a start. <laughs> Shut up, Jun. All right, so search. Left tracks. My focus should pick them up. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Which way are the tracks going? It's a subtle purple against a bright white background. Anyway, this way. How's the serenity? Look at that for a view, by the way. That looks awesome. It's moments like this that make you really appreciate some of the uh, the beauty, some of the art and design that goes into these. So good. Hurry. Help me up. Ah, being attacked by machines, are we? Hit it again! I'm out of arrows. The outcasts that took the Dream Willow, and they're in trouble. Good. So they should be. All right. Let's take out the watcher first, because watchers are so irritating. Oh. So that's also irritating when the prompt disappears right when we click it. Oh, there's another watcher. I want to take that out and then take out the sawtooth on his own. 
that's the idea. Come up here. Come up here, pesky watcher. Oh. This way. He is not responding. There we go. Timing. Oh, steady. Hot. Come on. Roll back. That's got it. All right. Let's take this zombie down. Let's tear off some of his. Oh, and he ran away. I'll strike you down. Oh, and now are you shooting at us? Or are you still shooting at this thing? Oh, he is a grumpy sod. It will not sit still. He heard it! Critical hit. And another one. Alright, heavy hit. Rinse repeat. Oh no, we got hit that time. These things are genuinely pretty scary. Some of these early missions are hard, man. I would have struggled so much without all the stuff I learnt from my exploration over the weekend. All right, one more hit. Come on, get him. All right, and heavy strike. Come on, heavy strike. That'll do it. Got him. The other thing we can do is the ice and blast combo. We'll do that a bit more in the future as well on the big machines. All right. Outcast Thieves is what he said really what happened you have our thanks if the gratitude of outcast means anything to you it does you not only save us but speak to us the matriarchs cast me out at birth the laws of the nora don't mean much to me yeah that oh, that girl his mother never claimed her but an outcast no longer no a seeker in fact looking for dream willow hmm that could be a problem hmm uh yes from you stealing it why did you take the dream willow because we have wounded why else would we take it something terrible has happened to the tribe the braves offer no protection the machines are angry and bandits infest the sacred land and prey upon us why else would outcasts break custom and band together but that we have no choice even Agreed. so we did not steal we left shards in the stashes and tried to pay john but of course, he would not speak to us. Oh, because they're outcasts, really? John said you roughed him up. He was too busy cringing to know what happened. The man's a coward. We made sure not to hurt him. Not that he seemed to notice. Hmm. Okay, interesting. What crimes did you and the others commit? I beat a man who stole my kill. It was my wrong. The others stole, broke custom, or trespassed among the bones of the metal world. No murderers here, if that's what you're asking. Okay, so some legitimate outcasts, some unjustly outcast, perhaps. There are others who need Dream Willow. You can't have all of it. You asking or demanding? Both. Talking. One person to another. I see. Perhaps we have more than we need. After everything that happened, we were afraid. We took all we could find. Okay. Here, I'll keep a portion, but the rest may it find its way to those who need it. I'll see that it does. In the meantime, stay safe and stick together. Okay. Return to June. Why are we going back to June? I don't care about that guy. All right. Run up the trail. Come on. Don't worry about the little rocks and pebbles in the way. So he wouldn't speak to the outcasts, which is why they had to force their way to get some. I'm going to take some of these supplies. These look handy. Miss Scusi. Yoink. Hello, Jun. You coward. 
Here's the Dream Willow. Take it to Fia and Mother's Rise. There are wounded braves there who need it badly. I will. But what became of the outcasts? Did those wretches pay for their crimes? Ganging up together, speaking to each other, and to us. I hope you showed them no mercy. Yeah, you don't excuse know who I am, do you? Should I? I was raised as an outcast in the mountains above Mother's heart. The motherless girl. If I'd known, I never would have spoken to you. Oh, I would have slapped you so hard. I really want to slap this guy. It's funny how you hate outcasts so much, Jen. Living out here all alone, you're practically one yourself. I happily keep my own company. Good for you, since I don't exactly see anyone beating down the door to spend time with you. Except outcasts in need of Dream Willow, that is. I'm done here. Make sure that Fia gets that Dream Willow. Or I'll be back. Should have chosen the punch him option. I'll take the Dream Willow to Fia. But you had no right to speak to me as you did. Oh, so... Now I wish... Mm. Can't load because that'll take us too far back. By the way, we're heading back to uh, Mother's Rise anyway because there's another side quest. So we should have just taken it ourselves, Aloy. Man, he wouldn't speak to Outcast. This, this tribe can... Oh, really? I said it. I've said it again. I've said it before. I'll send it again. I'll say it again. I'm so glad that Aloy is an Outcast because this tribe is not worthy of Aloy. And we can't find Fia to talk to her to see what happens, so... Talk to this other guy once I actually remember to save. Because I'm still not used to saving at fires! Give me my hotkey for saving. Alright, one more side quest. And then we've cleared out this area of side... And stupid Nora. Well, there's good Nora, but there's a lot of dickhead Noras. We'll be done with it. You're Aloy, aren't you? Everyone's talking about your victory at Devil's Grief. I feel blessed to stand in your presence. Thank you. There's Finally. Really fuss over me. Who are you praying for? My my sister Nicola. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid, one of the captains of the Red Raids. I'm worried about her. Uh, what are the Red Raids? I lived in the Embrace during the Red Raids. What was it like out here? <laughs> for ten years, the Karja attacked without warning. Devils like Zaid butchered braves and kidnapped civilians for blood sacrifice. Right. It all ended when the mad Sun King died. The matriarchs say his son wants to set things right. But that wasn't enough for Nicola. So as we previously learned, the Kaja tribes, which are sort of a uh, larger number of tribes also sort of spread out in these northern areas, uh, their previous king wanted to sacrifice lots of people to the machine gods in the hope that the machines would stop being so aggressive. Obviously that didn't work, and to do so they sent out uh, what were called Red Raids to find other civilians and captives from other tribes to bring back to sacrifice to the machine gods. Eventually his son overthrew him or killed him or something, and he is now ruling and trying to make amends. Did the Matriarchs really give Nikoa permission to leave? No, they refused her. But nothing could stop her from going after Zaid. He... He murdered our father during the Red Raids. That'll do it. Nikoa saw it happen. Hid in the cellar and forced herself to watch. It changed her. I bet. Jesus, I'd be messed up after that. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all Mother's eternal memory? No. Mm. I begged Nikoa to stay so she could avoid that fate. She said she didn't care. I don't know. Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? It seems cruel. It does, doesn't it? Kind of interesting how some of these rules and laws seem a bit unfair. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, mother, bless you. I know the matriarchs won't let her return to the sacred lands, but I just need to know that she's all right. She must have passed through mother's crown. My aunt Salai lives there. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. All right, well, we've been to Mother's Crown. Maybe we were meant to do this side quest before going to Mother's Crown. There we go, up here in Mother's Crown. Let's go. <laughs> and we can fast travel there. This must be Mother's Crown. So I should be around here somewhere. Yes, she should. And let's set the quest active. 
Talk to Salai. Next time, I'll remember what you make Not you guys. You, maybe. Excuse me. Are you Salai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nikoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. Mm. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Okay, what is, is Day Tower? Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nikoa not to go. What's a lone Nora gonna do there? But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. Okay, what do you know about him What then? do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal, a murderer. The worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nikoa watched from the shadows. Even as I begged her not to go, part of me wanted her to. Hmm. I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He... He mutilated my brother. And yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. Hmm, it's true. Because we lost... Frost. Our papa. I'll look for Nikoa when I reach Day Tower. I'm not sure you can reach it. I've heard they closed the gates because of this, this corruption among the machines. But Maria might know more. Just don't mention why you're asking. Ah, I interesting. Think. Cool. That's a good segue. Maria is the person we need to talk to next. Yes, we need to go through here because this is this. Yes. Go to Day Tower. Maria may know more. Maria is the person we need to speak to here at Mother's Crown so that we may get through the gates somewhere. I don't know where the hell Day Tower is. Unless it's that there. But what we shall do, <laughs> we shall pause it here. And that will be the end of this session. So tomorrow's session, we shall continue where we talk to Maria and we head north towards day tower and towards the gates to get into the rest of the world now i have um you I, i've climbed around a, a dodgy invisible wall that lets you get past to explore the rest of this land i'm not meant to have been here yet but all i did was explore everything and collect all the things so now we'll go and do the quest line to actually officially get in to these areas uh and that'll be fun all right so that's what we're doing that's the end of tonight's session. We've cleared some side content. We've helped some of the Nora uh, war tribes and war parties. It's still super aggravating to hear how so much of these people are ruled by stupid, unnecessary religious laws and traditions and everything. Ah, oh, there's so much injustice in that alone. Anyway, we'll see what we encounter when we head north because we'll be heading north, which takes us out of Nora lands. Maybe we get to meet and talk to some other tribes. I don't know. I'm looking forward to seeing how that comes together, how these interact, and what happens as more of this unfolds. We still don't know much about these uh, cultists, how and why they're corrupting machines, what's their relationship with the Kaja who we're visiting. We'll have to find out. Anyway, that's enough talking for me. Thank you for coming along and hanging out. Thank you for chatting to each other. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next session. But in the meantime, this has been Nerdinus. I've been Shade. You've been awesome, and we'll hang out again very soon. We'll see you there.